So in this video, we're going to look at a way of multiplying uh, expressions together. It's something a lot of people have already learned, but it's something that people forget to do, um, especially when it's part of a bigger problem or in kind of one specific case, uh, forgetting to multiply these things correctly and getting the wrong answer. All right, so let's look at what you should be doing in these types of problems. All right, so let's say we wanted to multiply these two things together. And they can't be simplified. I can't do x minus 3 because I don't know what x is, but I want to multiply these things together. Well, the distributive property says I would take this term and distribute it in to both of these. So I'm going to get x minus 3 times x plus x minus 3 times 2. All right, that's what the distributive property says. If I kind of have something in front of that parentheses, I multiply both things by that. Right, this doesn't help too much, but what I can do is now I have this x next to the parentheses. I can distribute this backwards in. And same thing with this 2. I can distribute that backwards in. x times x is going to be x squared minus 3 times x plus 2 times x is 2x minus 6. And that's not our final answer because it's in like terms. Remember, like terms are anything that have the exact same variable part. So if I have minus 3x's and plus 2x's, that's going to give me minus 1x. All right, so this is the kind of expanded version of those two pieces at the top. We do the distributive property twice all right, to get down to that answer. All right, but luckily there's a shortcut for doing this. All right, this is technically what you're doing every single time that you are multiplying these things together, all right, but the shortcut is known as FOIL. All right, so FOIL is just an acronym. That stands for first, outer, inner, and last. So it just tells me which pairs of the expressions I should be multiplying together. So the first terms are the first term in each set of parentheses. All right, the outer terms are the far outsides of the whole expression. All right, inner are the inner terms of the whole expression. And then last are the last terms of each expression. All right, so first and last refer to the individual pieces. Outer and inner refer to the whole thing. Right. But then when I do this, we'll end up getting the same answer, but just less, with less work. So first, x times x is x squared. Outer, x times uh, 2 is 2x. Inner, it's important when you're doing this FOIL method that you include the negative sign. So this is negative 3 times x inner is going to be minus 3x, and then last, minus 3 times 2 is negative 6. And again, combine the like terms, and we get the same answer as last time because we still are doing the math correctly. It's just a lot less work to keep track of all the stuff, all the distribution that's going on. Right, so here's an example where we have some more numbers. I right, again, first outer, inner, last, and again, just putting it all together, 2x times x is 2x squared, outer, 2x times 5 is 10x, inner, negative 3x, last, negative 3 times 5 is negative 15, all right, to give us our final answer when we combine those like terms, and the nice thing with FOIL is a lot of times it'll put these like terms right next to each other, so I can see this is plus 7x, Minus 15. All right, so this one's for you to try on your own. I right, combine these terms all right, using FOIL. All right, here's the answer that I got. So first, outer, inner, last, when you multiply these terms together, combining those two middle terms to get you your final answer down there. Right, and here's the biggest time that students will forget to use FOIL. All right, so the most common mistake for this problem would say that your answer is x squared minus 9 or maybe x squared plus 9. All right, so those two answers are the most common wrong answers for this expression. All right, and what should you be doing? Well, x minus 3 squared, I right, we learned about exponents already. x minus 3 squared, that's just a shortcut for x minus 3 times x minus 3. Or right, we have two copies of x minus 3. And then we just saw when we multiply these types of things together, we FOIL. 
So first, outer, inner, last, and then combining our like terms, x squared minus 6x plus 9. All right, so you see the wrong ways kind of miss out that middle term of the minus 6x. All right, so whenever you see an expression being squared, I right, write out what it means. Being squared means you're multiplying something by itself and then uh, actually remember to FOIL it out all right, so you don't make this really common mistake that a lot of students make over here. All right, here's another example of just more powers of x, but it's not going to change anything. We do first, outer, inner, last. All right, x times 2x is going to be 2x squared. Outer, x times x cubed. I right, remember this is x to the first. All right, these two are x to the first. So this is going to be x to the fourth. Inner. So we minus 2x cubed. And last, negative x squared times positive x cubed is going to be negative x to the fifth. All right, and there's no like terms here, so you can leave your final answer like this. A lot of times what we do with these things that are called polynomials, when they're just a bunch of powers of x, one thing that happens a lot is we write them in descending order. So we write negative x to the fifth plus x to the fourth minus 2x cubed plus 2x squared. Right, this is not something you have to do, but a lot of times if you're looking at like, the answers on an online textbook or something like that, they'll write it in this order so it's easier to check your answer for everyone. That If you write all your exponents in descending order, right, everyone's answer will look the same. Right, but that's not something you have to do. All right, so here's one for you to try on your own. x plus 2 squared. All right, remember, don't fall into the uh, pit of doing it incorrectly. All right, think about what's happening and use FOIL. All right, and again, this exponent means we have two copies of x plus 2. Foiling out and combining those middle terms gives us our final answer. All right, so again, in general, when you're just focusing on FOIL, you'll kind of probably remember this. All right, but in the future, all right, just try to remember this exponent is going to make you have to FOIL out your answer. All right, so go ahead and practice FOIL. All right, it's a skill you have to have for your entire math career. Right, but more importantly, just remembering to do it when you need to all right, is a good skill to have, especially on those ones when you have an expression being squared. All right, but go ahead and practice and get ready for the skill check.